Uh, let me officially welcome one of the biggest influences ever in my life, uh, Mr. Robert Kiyosaki and his longtime friend and head of Rich Dad at Franchise Development, Kelly Ritchie. Welcome, gentlemen. You know, I watched that clip of you on uh, CNN again last night when you predicted the, uh, the crash of Lehman and, and Goldman Sachs, and most people thought you were nuts. Uh, that's correct, and even in 2005, I was on KTLA television, and they were asking about what I thought about the real estate boom, and I said, it'll turn into the biggest uh, mortgage disaster the world has ever seen, and that was in 2005. So, uh, you know, like you're talking about, the future is predictable, and if you're, if you're not ahead of the, because the future is changing rapidly, and if you're not ahead of the change, you become a victim of it, as many people are. So I think that's, that's the main reason I'm doing this course, is because for a few people, it is better to know what's going to happen than to wonder what happened. <laughs> the fact that you made a point of saying that, look, uh, you know, rich people make money when the market is up, and rich people make money when the market goes down, it doesn't matter either way. Uh, there's opportunities in both, and I just find that ironic with, like, wow, you know, that's incredible to where I'm not really doing my job and I haven't educated myself if I'm not making money when the market's going down as it is today. Well, what you're, what you're doing is by letting, by leading a networking organization is something that I've been advising people to do for a long, long time now. If you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which came out 12 years ago, you know, I was recommending people join or build a network marketing business. And the reason you're in a great position today is because, you know, I think GM dropped 31% today. So the idea of a um, job security for life is really somebody chewing on some mushrooms, you know. It's not, it's not reality. So more and more people are coming your way and the primarily, primary reason I recommend it and the primary reason Kelly is in the franchising business is because the idea of job security is really a myth. And when guys like Bush, I mean, uh, Bush, Obama, McCain, they say we're going to bring high-paying jobs back, I mean, you've got to be a complete moron to believe them. I mean, you've got to be dreaming. You know, there's, there's no way. And the reason for that is, Jobs always migrate with the lowest priced workers. So even today, jobs are migrating, you know, jobs move from America in the 60s to Japan, then to Korea, then to China, and today they're migrating to Vietnam and Pakistan. So if Obama or McCain or Palin or whatever his name is, Biden, say they're going to bring high paying jobs back, I mean, dream on. And, so all you have to do is look at the future by looking at what's really going on. It's not that hard to predict the future. You just have to stop believing the stuff that these so-called leaders are telling you. But in 1983, I, I studied with him three times in my life. And in 1983, just as he passed away, he published a book called Grunge of Giants. And Grunge stands for Gross Universal Cash Heist. In other words, it's how the rich rip everybody else off. And the moment I read that book, I understood it because it's exactly what I saw in Vietnam. It's exactly what my rich dad was always telling me. And so today when you see, you know, Bush Sr. and Bush Jr. saying we're here to save you with a bailout, I mean, you've got to be completely naive to believe them. These guys are part of the conspiracy that rips off everybody else. The same as Clinton, you know. So, you know, if you really believe the politicians are going to save you, oh, my God, I'll pray for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, your our jobs, you know, and what you're doing, Mike, and what Kelly and I are doing, and what all your staff is doing, is really to not only wake people up, but show them another way. The idea of my parents, you know, who were part of the last depression, go to school and get a safe, secure job. <laughs> and you can if you move to Vietnam. <laughs> and, and the, truth, the truth is pretty difficult to find these days unless you're talking to someone like you um, because all they get is the spoon-fed media, you know, on CNN and CNBC. And I don't, I don't really know if America understands uh, what the big 
bailout is going to do, uh, you know, not even in this month, but over the next couple of years. What are the consequences that you see for what's happening right now? I'll let, I'll let um, Kelly talk about uh, for a little while. Robert and I have been studying over the last three months uh, uh, from various books about what's, what, we, what, what other people are saying what's going on. And, and as we study those books, the most amazing things are starting to happen is people that have written books 10 years ago or 20 years ago were actually able to forecast almost uh, what's happening today, almost to the word of what's happening today. Oh, word for word. Word, word for word, and it's like, when you, when you see this, like, if it, like to me, I do read a lot, a lot of uh, Dr. Buckminster Fuller. I read a lot of his books and never really understood him until the last three months because the sort of thing that he talked about is what's going on right now. If, if and, I could read something to you from our President Bush, it says, he says, this legislation will, safe, will safeguard and stabilize Americans, America's financial system and put in place permanent reforms so these problems will never happen again. Moreover, it says to millions of depositors, you will not be the victim of others' mistakes. We will see, I guarantee, that your deposits are secure. But that was President H.W. Bush in 1989. <laughs> and then, so this is in 2008, President George W. Bush, George Jr., says, Congress must act. We are facing a choice between action and the real prospect of financial hardship for millions. Now, I thought his, fa his father, the first boy, promised these problems would never happen again. So what Kelly is really saying is the reason we know, knew this was going to happen it has happened throughout history. It has happened for thousands of years. And, and, and people are stupid enough to believe they're politicians. Well, what does, what does that really mean? And, and studying Fuller, what, what, really, what it really means is the bailout for Bush Sr. was somewhere between 66 and $512 billion. But when we talk about the bailout today, the bailout is somewhere between $770 billion and a couple trillion dollars. So all, all that really happens is the size of, uh, of the uh, bailout has got larger and really the time that it's taken to get to that point is faster. And, and that's really what Bucky Fuller was about. He was saying, can you think enough to be able to understand what this means to you, this little individual human being? And as we get through that on the course, I have no doubt that people will start to be aware and, and what we as individuals have a choice to do or not to do. Because me personally, I think this is, this is the, the best time this is the time that I've trained for. This is the time that I've really been around Robert for 20 years because he, he really said to me 20 years ago that something like this could happen. And it's taken 20 years, but I can tell you it's a, it's a pretty interesting position right now. And, th and that was from a person talking 20 years ago. And, and today that, we have more money coming in than ever before in spite of the crash. Absolutely, and, and, and all the businesses that we, that we look at, that, that they're bringing in more money despite, it, despite of the crash. And that's why if you're personally, and ask yourselves these questions, if you're not rich today or you're afraid of your financial future today or the stock market crash today has affected you, you're probably listening to somebody who gave you bad advice. You probably listen to somebody like a financial planner who sold you mutual funds, or somebody told you that job, that job security was important, or they told you to save money. That is really bad advice, and I've been saying this now for so many years. I've also been saying, if you don't know what you know, if you if you're if you're already concerned, then start a home-based business so you're not a victim of all this. And you should, guys have watched my website. There are guys on that website who really get upset with me, as well as with Donald Trump, for recommending network marketing or direct selling or home-based businesses. But today, let me tell you something. If you're not in this business, you're out of business.